While plenty of cities in the United States have a street called Broadway, only in New York does the word describe an art form. There are 41 active Broadway theaters, and while animals aren't permitted in any of them, an exception is made for service dogs. Today I'm meeting one of them and catching up with her owner, who lights up any stage she's on. Hello! Hello, Casey! Hi, Hi, Casey. Hi, Casey. Hi, my dog is taking me over. Hi, how are you? I'm so happy to see you. I was gonna say the doing? same thing. I'm good. And who is this? Wait. I know who this is. You know who this is? This is Thunder. That's right. Hi, Thunder. How old is Thunder? OK, she's seven. Seven. So in dog years, that's 49? Yeah. So yeah. we're about the same age, so, Thunder. <laughs> so she's she's squarely middle-aged. <laughs> so we are going into this bookstore. The one, the only. The drama, the drama bookshop. Yeah. Thunder, you going to be a good girl, please? <laughs> yeah. Please. Thunder, behave. Behave. Wow, this is amazing, it's beautiful. So I heard about this bookstore in college. In 93, <clears throat> when I moved here, this was my first stop. And thank goodness Lynn bought it, Lynn manuel because it was gonna go under. Wow. And he bought it. And so he had a Hamilton set designer come in and do this whole thing. Oh, and look, I happen to be right next to Britney Spears. <laughs> Me and Britney. <laughs> Look, there's Kristen's book. I'm in good company, don't you? You are. Let's see what else we've got here. You can see all the treasures. No, I love it. Look, here are more music books. Oh, this is wonderful and a huge selection, they right? They have everything to Follies. me. Follies. Here's Hamilton. Hamilton. Let's see if they have Wicked. Groundhog Day. How they funny. Have them. Yeah, where's Wicked? I don't know. W. Waitress. There, they've got it. Yes! Thank you, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to buy this. Oh, you should. I love that song for good. Learn it on the piano. I've heard it said. She can go sing ahead, go a ahead. little bit. <laughs> that oh, uh, the I've people come in to your life. Come. For a reason, bringing something you must learn. And we are led to those who help us most to grow. If, if we you let, let them, them, and we help them in return. She's trying to sing harmony. Wow. Wow, <laughs> Katie. Keep your day job, Kate. <laughs> and I say that with love. <laughs> no. Okay. See, I'm just gonna, keep it down. I'm going to work on this, everyone. <laughs> Let's get a cup of coffee I'd love and have to. a seat. Come on, Thunder. <laughs> okay, we rolling? <laughs> okay. Quiet on the set, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. This dog is, I can't, are you gonna look at Katie or no? Thunder, I love her so much. Thunder, come here, Thunder. Hi. Look at that face. I think she's been such a good dog. We, she deserves a greenie. Oh, you want a Let's greenie? Let's give her a greenie. Do you want a treat? Yeah, do you, do you want, want a treat? treat? Wow. Oh, look. Thunder. Uh-oh. Here you go. Has she never no, no, turned she down likes a treat? It. She likes it. Okay, there you go. She just had to get adjusted. It's also very hard on the chair. Okay, there she goes. I there scoot she over. All right. You enjoy that. You've been so busy. You're traveling around the country, doing a lot of concerts. Yeah. What else have you been up to? I am doing a new Broadway show that Steven Schwartz is composing. And they came to me a couple years ago and said, we want to do this show. It's called The Queen of Versailles. And I thought, oh, a period piece. No. <laughs> it's based on a reality show, it is. right? Yes, on Jackie Or a movie? Siegel. A documentary called The Queen of Versailles. It will be ready spring of 25. That's amazing. I'm excited. That's so exciting. Thank you. And in between, you're writing books, including a children's book, which we just happen to have right here on the <laughs> table. It's called What Will I Do With My Love Today? And it's a little blonde girl with a little dog named, hey, Thunder, wake up. We're Thunder, talking about you. This is your you. cue, girl. This is your cue. <laughs> Thunder is a cockapoo. I was dying to know because I'm crazy and I needed to know what everything was in her. They told me cockapoo and I did this thing called a uh, wisdom panel. Uh huh. It's like a DNA test for dogs. And I got back, yes, cock cocker spaniel, mini poodle. And then there's a third part. She's Norwegian elk hound and we don't know how she got back. Oh. But she is a hunter. Oh, so interesting. She's Norwegian elk hound, cocker spaniel, and mini poodle. I like it. She also has a really bad underbite. Oh, she does? And that's a very common in the Norwegian elk hound. So we know that's what we don't like to show our teeth. <laughs> Let me see that underbite. I see it. <laughs> it's so bad. There's some janky teeth, but I still love her. <laughs> I still love her.
By the way, I wanted to mention Thunder is a service dog. Yes, little known fact about me, everyone thinks, oh, she's got a maid, she doesn't have any anxiety, any issues, depression, any of that. Well, I do. And anxiety's been something I've covered up for many years. I also have a disease called Meniere's disease, and this dog will tell me when I'm gonna have a vertigo attack. And we got her her service certificate. She trained and she's, as you can see, she's really well behaved, sit, sit. But she calms me on planes. She goes everywhere with me. And you know, here we are at the drama book job and she's got our service dog vest on and she's allowed in. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, she's awesome. And you've always gotten rescue dogs. Y yes. And I think the reason you love rescue dogs is very special and really the subject of this book. And that's because you consider yourself a rescue. I do. I was adopted. When I was looking, I could not find very many children's books about adoption. I couldn't find it, so I thought, okay, that's my white space. I'm gonna take it. And I decided to write our story. Have you heard from kids who have appreciated so and parents who have read this to their kids? So many parents, Katie, come up to me with their kids and go, thank you. Now we have this, this is a book just for us. And I love it. I love it too, and I'm gonna read the part. It's actually almost made me cry. That's my favorite page too. You say, when I was a baby no bigger than you, my mommy and daddy adopted me too. You see, Thunder, families don't all look the same or talk like each other or have the same name. Sometimes extra love in your heart and your home is waiting for somebody who's all alone. No matter how life has brought us together, adoption means family and families forever. We had lots of love in our family before. With you, Thunder Pup, we can love even more. For me, it's doesn't matter who you are, what you look like, what size you are, we should all love each other. We're all the same thing. And when my parents got me, they're tall, they can't sing, they're chemical engineers, and then they got me. But I fit just right in their family. I mean, I won the lottery. I think whatever you put out in the world, some people call it karma, I don't know. I just know that whatever you put on the world, hopefully it's a lot of love, it come back to you tenfold. Well, I'm so happy to see you, What's and your... I'm so happy you're happy, and Katie, things so are going happy. so well. I'm Honestly, so you're one of my favorite people on the planet. Same, same. I love you to death. It's a love connection. <laughs> it's, it's a, I'm so glad we can come out with it. Casey and Casey together again. Yeah.